put it down again? Sorry. Just get everything right. So here we go. And this is triggering this situation here. If you really put these four objects in, it's triggering a little game. So the light goes off and Rabataki disappears so that you can you can oh you can you can start looking for Rabataki. So he might be in the in the in the toilet, he might be it's not in the toilet. He might be in the car. So this is a way of interacting with the augmented reality playsets, right? The moment right. you move further in uh, to find rubber ducky, if you can't find it, you will move on. Right. This is this is one of the uh, one of the possibilities that it, it opens up. There is other possibilities where it could kind of trigger actions by moving objects around, place objects near to each other, and things like that, which is all not explored at the moment. But this is uh, this is one nice thing where children really need to just move the device, not even t use the, the, the touch screen at all. So for the, because earlier on it was mentioned that it's actually able to capture 360 degrees and it has, it's able to capture more 3D objects. This is all done through the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor? Yes, and the Euphoria platform. Okay. So you see, it's, it's really tracking all of these objects. If I move around the toilet, it knows where it is at any time. Um, if I'm moving around the car, it's tracking the car, knows where it is at any time, because it's, you see, it's uh, I can animate it and move it around so that you see um, that we track that at any time. Okay.